Hello and welcome back to the Hibs Career Mode. We are <coughs> we are actually live today. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but today we have the quarter finals of the Europa League to deal with against Napoli. In between those uh, two legs, we have a game against Crystal Palace as well. Um, I think these will be the only three games that I deal with in this in this episode. Uh, I doubt I'm going to go as far as Bournemouth. You know that I might simulate the Crystal Palace game. I'm not sure, but I'm really focusing on the Europa League at the moment, though. Um, the other thing really worth mentioning in the last episode, I think, um, is probably the R Roche finally, after 18 games, um, it was like an 18-game goal drought, he finally scored, and he scored twice in one game against... Um, who was it? Against Everton, that was it. I knew it was a blue team. I don't know why Chelsea was coming to mind, but it was Everton. Um, for the lineup in this game, we will go with what I would say is probably the strongest lineup at the moment, if it ever loads. Um, Napoli. Napoli is a good team. Me say me doing this live could be a massive mistake, because I, 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 don't, I don't play as well when I play live, but. <laughs> Yeah, so Yoha up front, Basigog, Roche and Gianni Otas as the three attacking midfielders. Anto and John McGinn as the CDMs. Riley, McCall, Aminido and Ralston as the back four and El Shinawi in goals. Uh, the bench will be um, well decent. You know, it's probably the strongest bench we can have. I would play Garcia, but at the moment I'm not feeling it. <laughs> uh, I just want Jenny Otas to play. And, you know, Basagog's pace is ridiculous. So, and he's, he's a lot stronger than Garcia too. So, Garcia can probably be a super sub or whatever. Same with Soteldo. Both of them are really small though. 5 feet 3 and 5 feet 6. Whereas, um, Basagog is... 5 foot 10 and that's the only issue with this team as a whole is we aren't very tall or very strong so um, more than anything I'm really just hoping that we can beat Napoli if we can beat Napoli then we're through to the semi-finals and that is madness so let's get this game underway and hope, hopefully we can get a good enough win in this so that we might not even have to play the second leg Let's go for it. I would say that Napoli are probably one of the favourites to win uh, the Europa League, but... Well, we're away to Napoli and what a dream start this is. 1-0 four minutes in against Napoli at their own ground. It was so simple. It's a very nice finish as well from Ioha. Sounded like it had the woodwork. Very nice finish. I'm actually strangely nervous. As pathetic as that sounds. Because it's... I mean, most people would probably be us only the Europa League, but... I'm Hibs. You know what I mean? And... Consider this should be a goal. Yeah, 2-0. Considering the team that I have in comparison to most other teams and it's on legendary um, I shouldn't be doing as well as I have been doing this season I did go through a really bad spell but other than that I'd say we've been doing really well considering so 2-0 Hibs in, at Napoli's ground didn't mean to pass to him might work out anyway that's a great ball. 3-0. 3-0 to Hibs. Jesus. Right. I have to admit, right, I, I really just wasn't expecting this. 3-0 to Hibs at Napoli's ground. The away game must be ours. If it's not ours, then, then um, no. Just why? <sighs> this is ridiculous. And Garcia 
Going on the outside, he comes back in. That's 4 0. What's going on? I don't. Genuinely, going into this game, I was thinking, right, Napoli, good team, must be a hard game. I know it's the what, quarterfinals of the Europa League. I don't really know if that has any influence on how Napoli performs just because of the quarterfinals. But they must be putting up a better fight than how they have. This is their own ground, and we've just dissected them. 4-0 Hibs. It's like a child pulling the legs off a spider. The way we are, the way we are pulling them apart. And that's it. 4-0 to Hibs at Napoli's ground. Surely the away leg can just be simmed. Or the home leg even. A fantastic performance from us today. Games Crystal Palace. Based off of that performance that we just had, um, I'll probably have to put a second team out for this game. But for uh, the, the Napoli home leg, I'm pretty sure we've got that in the bag. Surely we can just play this game, simulate that, and that'll end the episode and we'll be fine. Uh, I'll just quickly sort out the team here. To go with. Uh, this team's like a lot smaller than um, the other team that I played because well actually now I think about it it's mainly just to set on mid spots that are smaller and well basicog has been replaced with Garcia but Gianni Otas has been replaced with Patrick Ross who's like 5'10 um, yeah so this is it's still a very good team I just kind of wish that maybe Jameson or Woods was a wee bit taller uh, since it's two CDMs, but you know, they're, they're, they're good players, so um, the height probably won't matter. But we know what Crystal Palace are like. They once decimated us like last season. Um, three goals from three crosses that were all headers. So just kind of hoping that either that doesn't happen again or we can just get a revenge. Because <laughs> that, that, was, that, was, that was an annoying game, so... Let's go to Selhurst Park and hopefully pick up three points again. And he shoots. Oh, that's a crossbar. And Garcia's fought to win the ball back. He's still got a few players to beat. Come that back down the wing. Whips it in. Can Ross win that? No, he can't. Oh, Garcia, if, he, if his legs were just a wee bit longer. <laughs> The work rate of this team is very good. Belgrand with the shot. Crossbar again. And Crystal Palace are probably very happy with... Well, maybe not, actually. We've just won the ball back again. And Dio has just turned the defender. And Scuffet has made a save. This is... Jesus. This is not Jesus. It's just... Very... Tense. Bergland, I thought he was going to release the ball there. Sort of died down a wee bit now. Still on the attack though. And Garcia whips the ball. To, well, really whips the ball. Ooh. And Rydervold clears it. That didn't really go to plan. Wood finds Ioha. Finds Wood again. And that's fantastic play. I just call him, I called him Wood as Woods. <coughs> Incredible play from us. We've been dominating them from, well, the start of the game. It's the 42nd minute. And the way we've been passing the ball about in this game has been very good. Very, very impressive. And that's one now. And Belkland finds some space. Is that 2-0? That is 2-0. This is, this formation is perfect for us right now. Ever since we changed formation, we've just started beating teams, just, we've been scoring a lot more as well, even though I wouldn't say it's the most attacking formation in the world, it's very, very good, very, very good from us. It's a nice goal from Berglund as well. 
Kirkland whips in a ball. Jameson. Is that Jameson? Or is that... Is that Jameson? No, it's, it's Rob McCall. 3-0 though. And now we are, we are scoring enough from across. <laughs> McCall to get the goal. Not really our typical goal scorer, in my opinion. He's very solid player though. No doubt about that. He's still our best defender, I'd say, by far. 3 0 hips. <laughs> Got a revenge, I'd say. <laughs> Never mind, it was an OG. I wish this team had a bit more stamina, but. It's okay for now, I think. Because we do have a good enough squad anyway. And 3 1. I wasn't expecting that, but I guess I've got the consolation. Um, was that lost his cheek? Oh well. It's not really a big deal if you ask me. I mean, we're still beating them. Pretty sure the wind's in the bag now. I don't know where the defence is going, if I'm being honest, but... 3-1. He said it was three minutes added on. That is the worst Clayton's ever. That actually getting two goals out of this, that is ridiculous. 3-2. What is that, Clayton's? Very nice finish, to be fair, but they should not be getting that. And he's actually injured as well. And that went three two to us. It was a lot closer than it really had to be, but um, we definitely deserved the win either way, and that's what we got. So the injury, and then simulate Napoli. Three weeks for Patrick Ross. Press conference, press conference, and check. So. We'll just put the first team back into play and then send the Napoli game and then end the episode. Game against Napoli. They need to beat us 5 0 at least, I think, to win. And I don't think the odds of that happening are uh, very high since. I mean, it's a simulation, right enough, but let's just see how it goes. I'm pretty certain that um, we'll have this in the bag. Let's just see how it goes. So, 1 0 Napoli so far. Still 4 1 to us though. And that is a half gone. They need three goals in the second half. We haven't really done it. Oh, wait, we've made a substitute and Ioha gets a yellow. Now it's 2 0 to Napoli. Are they going to do it? I don't think they're going to do it, if I'm being honest. 2 0. 4 2, we win an aggregate. I'll take that, you know, I mean, I wasn't playing, I knew we didn't really have to play this game. Uh, Moyano and Soteldo both came off from the bench, came on from the bench, sorry. Um, I'm very, very happy with the fact that we've beaten Napoli in Europa League, because I would have said that they would be one of the favourites to win. I mean, Dries Milton's Insigne, I mean, most of their team, I don't, I don't think I really need to spell it out, they have a great team. Napoli, I don't know how they're in the Europa League as it is. Um, I don't know if we can check who we have now. Uh, let's see if it was. So well, that's the FA Cup. We got knocked out of the FA Cup, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the Carabao Cup. Chelsea won the Carabao Cup. Uh, Copy Europe. Come on. Champions League. Ooh, interesting. Barca versus PSG and Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. So, it's looking like at least one Spanish team is going to make it. I'm going to say it's going to be Barca v Real Madrid, because why not? El Clasico Champions League final. Uh, and the Europa League, we have drawn CS, KA Moscow, and there's Everton versus Ajax. Now, Ajax, funnily enough, actually knocked out. Manchester City. So, um, I didn't mean to go back to the Champions League there. But Ajax beat Manchester City. So, if we end up beating CSK Moscow and getting them in the final, what a final that will be. Um, I'll be happy that we get to the final. I, like, anyway, and there's just... the I think the expectation 
was to like reach the knockout stages so getting to round 16 um, was good enough but now that we're at the semis I honestly feel like we can win the Europa League um, CSK Moscow beat Zenit to get here and St Etienne Everton beat uh, West Ham and Krasnodar uh, Ajax beat Arsenal and Man City so they've not exa- they've not exactly had an easy run. Thank God they beat Arsenal and Man City to be honest, because both of them are a torture for me to play against. However, I might end up jinxing myself because I mean I've got CSK in Moscow. I don't know how hard or easy that will be. Um, just need to kind of wait and see till the next episode. I, I will, it might not even be the next episode when we play them. But if you've enjoyed this episode, please smash a thumbs up. I mean, we've, we've managed to get to the semi-final of the Europa League uh, with the team that we've got. And there's a lot of people that I would have said are favourites to win this that are knocked out now. Um, thanks to us and Ajax, to be honest. Um, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.